Hey, what's up guys? I'm Sahil from Chronostick and today I'm going to show you how to install the latest version of TWRP Recovery on your Nexus 5 on the latest preview build of Android M. Now the latest version of Android M just came a day ago so you will probably need the latest version of TWRP for this. So for that, just head on to the TWRP website as I'm doing right now and select the primary method. Yeah, you can download it from there. And make sure that you have the latest version. This is the latest version 2.8.6.1 and just click on it to download it. Yeah, so once you're downloaded, I have already downloaded mine. Just copy it anywhere you want, but make sure that you have the fast boot drivers properly set up. Now after that, just power off your phone. Once it's powered off, hold the volume up, volume down and power keys together and wait for it until this screen comes up. You can see I have the latest bootloader version that is HHZ12H and this is the one that came with the M developer preview. Now just connect the USB cable to your machine and to your phone. Once that is done, go to your system, open a command window in the directory that has the latest TWRP. I have it on my desktop so I'm just gonna press the shift key and right click my mouse button on the desktop and now in the window I'm just gonna write fast boot flash recovery and the name of the recovery followed by dot img and hit enter. You can see it has flashed successfully. Now there's one critical step after this. Make sure that you do not write fast boot reboot as it's stated on the website. Otherwise you probably end up with a boot loop and your phone won't boot again and you'll have to flash the factory images back again. Just disconnect your wire from your phone using the volume keys navigate to recovery mode and hit the power button to go into the recovery. So there it is, this is the TWRP recovery, this is the latest version and this works perfectly fine, I have tested it and uh, yeah. And yeah, this is pretty much all, just make sure that after the first time you wipe the cache and Dalvik cache, I'm just gonna go for advanced wipe. Yeah, that's it, advanced wipe, Dalvik cache and cache and just swipe to wipe. Once that is done, just go back, back again, back again, and in the reboot menu, hit the power off button. Now this is a very important part, make sure that you do not install the super SEO, otherwise your phone won't work. So click on the do not install button and it will boot now. Just press and hold the power button. You can see it's working great, no boot loops and the Android is upgrading. So that pretty much sums up the whole process. I think it's a success. Let's wait a little bit more to see. Yeah, it's working perfectly fine. That's it. That's great. So guys, that's all. Thanks for watching my video. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up and share it with anyone you might want and subscribe to my channel for more videos. There is a special video incoming on the hidden features in Android M. So if you want to check that out, just make sure that you subscribe to my channel and you can also follow me on Twitter and Instagram. All the links are in the description below. Thanks for watching the video. This is Chronostick signing off. Thank you.